Hello everyone, it is Shadows One. I'm here to present you guys some Dota 2 action. I went ahead and paused it so I can get some, you know, stuff settled because I'm using a new version of X, but yada yada yada. Enough about that, let's jump into the game. We've got on the rating zero or O underscore Narok underscore O ISN dot Moxos W Venom Hark Pantora and Sterling Nell Tor, parenthesis 78, versus EXE Persea, minus, well, yeah, Allison Avani, Wangbot, started from the bottom, and For My Love. Again, I'm using a different version of XSplit, things might be a little wonky, but, yeah, anyway, um, let's go ahead and speed this up, not down, speed it up, because we don't, you know, none of this is, none of what they're choosing right now is finalized until they get in the game. However, it does look like we've got a potential silencer, Crystal Maiden, I think that is, uh, one second. Let's go ahead and slow it back down two times once, that way it's, you know, not going all bonkers on us. Looks like they got a Rubik on the Radiant right now. And they're up against Doom, Huskar, Marina, aka Priest of the Moon, Sand King, and Centaur War Runner, which I find funny that started from the bottom, got Sand King and not Potom, which is also you know Priest of the Moon, aka Marina. But anyway, yeah, looks like they do have definitive Crystal Maiden as well as Silencer. Again, looks like Rubik. And I do not know who that is off the top of my head. So, forgive me. I wish that, you know... Oh, there we go. I think I just broke the game, guys. No, nope, there we go. Yeah, I don't know why it wasn't working, but oh. Looks like they finally spawned. And it looks like it's Phantom Assassin, and they got Timbersaw, as well as the Rubik pick. So, I was correct in guessing Rubik goes back down to plus one because you know why not now they did change Huskar his berserkers blood used to give him bonus attack damage and attack speed but now it gives him bonus resistance and attack speed so he's a little more durable you know just just a little more durable nothing too crazy though and I believe they changed a lot of stuff they changed Timbersaw's ultimate to cost less mana but I believe do less damage we'll have to see how that all plays out here mind you I've tried recording games you know just any random Dota games I happen to have on my system and they all freeze about 20 minutes in let's hope it doesn't do that with this game it shouldn't because I found a workaround you know I had to get the emails email or get the replays email to me instead of just downloading them for whatever reason downloading them off the Dota 2 servers broke them for whatever reason anyway it looks like we got Silencer and Timbersaw top versus Sand King and Centaur War Runner middle we have Rubik versus Huskar and bottom we have if my mouse actually clicks there we go we have Crystal Maiden Priest er, and Phantom Assassin versus just Priests of the Moon, and it looks like Doom is jungling, which, not surprised about that, but here we go, Priests of the Moon, trying to do some damage to that Crystal Maiden, taking a lot of damage in, on her end as well from that, uh, from Phantom Assassin. Looks like she may actually die to Phantom Assassin here. No, Marina gets the kill on Crystal Maiden with the final auto attack, and she's going to get away, it looks like, from this Phantom Assassin. Very good for her. She does get away, albeit barely. No, no, it looks like Phantom Assassin goes ahead and gets the kill underneath the tower, and uh, Priest of the Moon goes ahead and buys back. So, Priest of the Moon cannot be happy about that. She bought back and spent the, the gold for a teleport back down to bottom, and it looks like she's already taking a, a lot of damage from this priest, or Phantom Assassin, as well as from Crystal Maiden. In the meantime, it looks like Doom's having a hard time here in the jungle. He's pretty low on health. He's about 200 out of 700, so definitely not the best day for Doom right about now. 
Meantime, we got Timbersaw doing a little damage here and there to Centaur and to Sand King. Same thing with Silencer. Doing just as much damage as they possibly can right now to Centaur and Sand King. Otherwise, they'll just get out beefed later on in the game. They have to do whatever damage they can currently. Because, you know, two strength versus two int. Um, yeah, two strength will win late game. Although, Sand King is pretty squishy for a strength champion. But yes, they did change some of the champions I know, Doom. Now if you have Agnum Scepter, the... If you're within like 500 units of Doom, like 500 uh, yards I guess would be the me uh, measurement of distance. If he has Agnum Scepter, I believe anyway, that Doom doesn't tick down until you go past that 500 units away. Those of you that play Dota before know exactly how far you know, 500 units is, so I'll just leave it to you guys to, you know, guess that. But looks like we got Centaur about to die here, and Centaur dies to Timbersaw at the top. Nice play by Timbersaw and by Silencer up here at top. However, Timbersaw did not Timbersaw. Wow, Timbersaw actually got a double kill, got Sand King as well. Good for Timbersaw, but Timbersaw did have a lot of help from Silencer. That Curse of the Silent, as well as Last Word, does do a lot of damage. You know, that's, uh, I, yeah, I don't know what else to say other than it's a ton of damage and nice play by Centaur right here. He does get the kill with the double ledge right there. However, that will set Timbersaw for another kill if he's not lucky. Rubik activates the double damage that he had bottled and this Centaur is trying to run for his life right about now. Meantime, Rubik in the middle gets the kill on Huskar. I mean, yeah, double damage does help a lot, and that's most likely what saved him from Huskar. I think Huskar doesn't have a Burning Spear or is low level. Yeah, it's only level 1 Burning Spear, which can't say I'm not surprised at, because, hey, it's whatever. He did want to get that inner vitality, because, hey, it it gives him bonus health regen regardless. Meantime, up at top, we've got Centaur being very, very low on health. I didn't even notice that until just now. But, yeah, that is definitely not good. Not good at all. And the Centaur is just completely out of mana now. And he's hurting for health as well. He's at 280 out of, well, close to 290 out of 815. That is very, very low. That's about, what, a third health, give or take? Maybe a quarter health? No, no, it's about a third health. So, yeah, about third health, and he's trying to wait for Tranquil Boots and the mana to use Tranquil Boots at that. Otherwise, he will indeed die to one of them up at top. Meantime, Rubik right now is getting a lot of farm because Huskar is just off in La La Land. In fact, where is Huskar? Huskar is coming bottom now to help secure a kill down here, maybe. And this Priest of the Moon trying to get a good stun off, and Rubik's going am I in this this Crystal Maiden's gotta watch out. She's trapped herself in a corner here. I don't know what the hell she's expecting to have happen here, but now she's dead. I mean, D, A, D dead. Priest of the Moon gets the kill with the Star Call. And looks like that Huskar is gonna go ahead and get the kill on Phantom Assassin here. Cause, hey, Burning Spear is amazing like that. And I'm sorry, Star Storm, not Star Call. Something completely different. In the meantime, Silencer gets the top on Sanking up at top. And now he's looking to try and bring Centaur Warrunner down as well. And Doom, you know, she's the only jungle of the game right now. Only person in the jungle whatsoever right now. And he is a close to dying. He's playing a very, very tricky game right now. You know, going, well, being in the jungle with such low health. But let's go ahead and look at the, you know, last, well, kills and deaths and everything. We got Timbersaw at 201. Then we have... Priest of the Moon at 211, oh, Rubik at 100, Silencer at 112, God Huskar at 110, or 111 rather, Pre uh, Phantom Assassin at 110, same thing with Centaur War Runner. Then we have Doom at 000, and Sand King as well as Crystal Maiden at 020. So definitely not good, but not bad. I mean, Timbersaw is expected to get some kills early in game. Meantime, up at top again, Silencer gets the kill on Centaur War Runner. Very good play by uh, Silencer right now. Silencer does need to get fed. He doesn't have, 
his glaive of wisdom or glaives of wisdom which you know if Silencer did have his glaives of wisdom he would have had about what ooh while I'm saying all this Rubik goes down and gets the kill on Huskar with the help of Crystal Maiden and now it looks like Centaur Warrunner is coming middle to try and maybe help get the kill well get a kill on somebody but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen got you know just a lot of a lot of magic damage coming out from the Radiant right now. And really the Dire have no way of, you know, responding until Doom hits level 6 and can silence one of them, you know, for a long period of time. Because even if he can silence, say, you know, if he can silence Timbersaw for just a few seconds, that leaves Timbersaw useless for those few seconds, or he does his Crystal Maiden. You know, Crystal Maiden or Timbersaw would be the... Number one and two to silence, in my opinion. Meantime, we got Rubik trying to do some damage here. Well, Rubik and Crystal Maiden trying to do damage here to Huskar. And Huskar, no, Sand King will get the kill on Crystal Maiden there with the help of his teammates. And it looks like right now this Rubik is, or Silencer rather, is going to die here. And Silencer does die to Sand King. If it sounds like I'm a little distracted, it's because there's a damn fly around me. I don't normally do this, but I will be right back. I'm going to put it on to directed camera and hope that it's not that bad and that I don't miss anything, which I shouldn't. Actually, before I do that, it looks like this Huskar may actually die here. No, he may get away. No, he dies to Timbersaw right there. Nice play with by Timbersaw with that, what is it, Whirling Death? That's exactly what it is. And it looks like right now this Phantom Assassin is jumping onto the Priest of the Moon here. The Priest of the Moon doing enough damage to Phantom Assassin to scare her away. So overall, decent plays all around. You know, the Dire still has a chance of catching up, but they're slowly, slowly losing that chance. The longer they wait to get the kills on the people they need to kill, and get the kills on the people they need to, you know, get the gold, the worse it's going to be for them. But it looks like Priest of the Moon right now trying to run here from Phantom Assassin. Phantom Assassin could use her Shifting Dagger, or Stifling Dagger rather, onto Priest of the Moon here, and get the kill on Priest of the Moon. But looks like Priest of the Moon trying to do some juking here of her own. And she will wind up dying here after Phantom Assassin gets the help from Crystal Maiden. And now I will be right back just one quick second, guys. There we go. Sorry about that. And I see that Crystal Maiden dies to Huskar. And Huskar is going for the kill on Phantom Assassin as well. He will not get it, however, because Burning Spear is not... Doing as much damage as he would have liked, but Rubik comes in here, does do a decent amount of damage, and does cause Huskar to be stunned for a good duration of time. And Hoofstomp did come into play there as well. And now Huskar's running for his life, and Huskar dies to Rubik. Rubik, I think, stole Burning Spear? No, it was just an auto attack by Rubik. So, very nice play by Rubik right there. Meantime, it looks like Silencer right now is trying to do some damage to the Centaur Warrunner. Same thing with. Timbersaw, they're both trying to do damage to Sand King and to Centaur, but Centaur is going to go ahead and wisely back out here. Good play to get the Magic Wand. We'll give him a little more stats and give him that, you know, optional, you know, hey, quick boost of health and mana whenever Silencer, you know, does a ton of damage to him. In the meantime, Crystal Maiden dies down here. To, oh no, I'm sorry, not Pre uh, Crystal Maiden, Pre Phantom Assassin. Wow. I'm going to go ahead and back it up just a little bit here. We can see that Phantom Assassin's actually pretty low, and we've got Marina coming in here to try and get the kill on Phantom Assassin. Let's just see how Marina gets the kill. And it looks like it was with the wow, the nice blind arrow by Priest of the Moon to get that. So very nice play by her. She's definitely one of those people that needs the gold for the for the dire. But it looks like right now that Timbersaw is doing a decent amount of damage to Sand King. Sand King trying to run away here from Timbersaw. In the meantime, he gets the kill on Silencer. And now Silencer actually gets the kill on Sand King with, I believe, last word. And Centaur right now is not in a happy state of mind. He's trying to get the kill onto Timbersaw here. And Timbersaw is scaring him away. And Crystal Maiden comes in from out of nowhere and just does a little damage to that Centaur. Centaur really needs to go ahead and heal or do something. He's probably waiting for Tranquil Boots to be off of cooldown to use them again so he can get some health back. People always forget that Tranquil Boots do give you health back but you have to not get attacked. In the meantime, 
Wow, Priest of the Moon gets a kill down here as well. I'm gonna go ahead and back it up so that way we can actually see what happened down there. So, looks like Marina got a nice stun onto Rubik, and that is actually how she got the kill. It looks like it was a 5 second stun. Meantime, Silencer comes in here and does a lot of damage to this Priest of the Moon. And Priest of the Moon backing out here. Timbersaw in the meantime gets the kill up a top onto Centaur. Foolish play by Centaur going into Crystal Maiden and Timbersaw. Knowing full well that Crystal... Well, I believe knowing full well Crystal Maiden was there. Meantime, it looks like Huskar is trying to come in from the back here. He pops into Vitality on himself, which will give him health regen. But it won't mean anything unless he actually attacks. He just wasted 170 mana. I believe it's 100. Yep, 170 mana. It's his only spell that costs mana. Everything else is health. So, you know, play that how you want to. Meantime, it looks like Sand King right now getting a nice stun to that Crystal Maiden. And looks like Huskar is going to come in here and may they may get the kill on Crystal Maiden. They do get the kill. Actually, Doom gets the kill on Crystal Maiden with, I believe, just his... Yeah, just his Scorched Earth. Nice play by him. Meantime, this... Priest of the Moon goes ahead and use Illusion to get out of the way. And looks like Rubik now is taking a ton of damage. And, wow, bad arrow by uh, Priest of the Moon. However, I think it was more of a defensive one instead of an offensive arrow. What I mean by that is it just... You know, it was there to scare them away from not engaging, really. And that Rubik just stole, what did he steal? He stole, wow, Burrow Strike. However, I don't think he actually wants to use that because I would put him in harm's way. And another whiff right there by Priest of the Moon. That was more of an offensive one to see if they can jump onto Rubik there or one of them. But they will do a ton of damage to this tower. And that bottom tower is going to be dead pretty soon here. However, it looks like that... Who is that? Teal. 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 Looks like that was Silencer uh, porting up top to help stop the push from the Dire. Again guys, I notice it's lagging on my end a little bit like there are little lag spikes here and there. I'm probably going to revert to the old version of XSplit I had because I don't like these lag spikes. So this will, you know, after this game I'm going ahead and switching over to the old version of XSplit I had. And then I will record the other games that I have. Assuming this one doesn't just, you know, freeze at 20 minutes in, which is rapidly getting close to 20 minutes in. By 20 minutes, I mean this time over here, not this time up here. But it looks like right now that Rubik is going ahead and porting away here. And looks like they may actually get the kill on Silencer. Silencer is stunned, or silenced right now. Finding that he should get silenced and Doom right now is going after Silencer. I'm going to keep an eye on that. But in the meantime, this Timbers on Crystal Maiden gets a nice ult and gets a nice double kill out of that. Doom in the meantime gets the kill on Silencer. And Huskar gets the kill on Crystal Maiden during all of this. And Huskar right now trying to get the kill on Timbersaw. And Timbersaw is going to die here it looks like. Timbersaw does die to Marina. And Marina definitely needs that gold. Let's just take a quick look at... Or let's see what Rubik decides to do here. Looks like a nice stun right there by Priest of the Moon, or by Marina rather. And Rubik right now actually Burrow Strikes out of harm's way. Meantime, found himself and gets the kill on the tower bottom. So while all of that's going on, we now have Priest of the Moon at 522. We've got Timbersaw at 415. Rubik at 311. Huskar at 345. And uh, Silence is at 343. Doom is at 202. Uh, Phantom Assassin's at 221. Then we've got Sand King at 244. Centaur Warrunner at 242. And Crystal Maiden at 262. Mind you, mind you, Crystal Maiden is more of a support champion due to her. You know, yeah, she does a lot of damage, but she's more there for her frostbite to encase enemies in, you know, ice and stop them from doing anything for a few seconds, as well as her mana regen aura. That helps substantially, which a lot of people do not realize. You know, two and a half more mana per second, that's a lot, especially when you have, you know, a lot of, you know, spell spammy heroes such as, you know, say, Timbersaw, where that would allow him to keep his ult out even further, as well as Rubik, it would allow him to chain more abilities together. 
And, you know, obviously found an assassin that helps her too because she can stifling dagger more and more. All of that fun stuff. Looks like the top tower now is going to go ahead and die here on the dire side. And wall nice over right there by Timbersaw doing just a little damage to Marina when she comes in. And Silencer popping his ult. And who the hell is this? It's Sensor Warrunner. He's going to get killed right here. And he gets killed by Phantom Assassin. You would not want to feed Phantom Assassin right now. She's starting to get to the mid stage of the game where she's going to be deadly. And Doom looks like he may get the kill right here on Silencer. And he does. Good play right there by Doom. Husker right now may get the kill on Crystal Maiden. Doom actually gets the kill on Crystal Maiden as well. Nice double kill for him. Doom in the meantime gets killed, or Husker gets killed by Timbersaw during all of this. Timbersaw runs away and Phantom Assassin gets the kill on Marina during all of this. And Sand King is not happy about that. He's looking to go ahead and get the kill onto this Phantom Assassin. And he does. Meantime, Rubik is going to go ahead and push bottom during all of this, or defend bottom. Timbersaw gets away with, you know, about 200 health intact. You know, so... It was a two for, well, three for two trade-off. So it wasn't bad for the dire side. It just, you know, they can't get Phantom Assassin, well, they can't let Phantom Assassin get any kills whatsoever. If they let her get kills, she will start to snowball and Silencer actually ended Doom's dominating spray right there. Curse the Silent coming into effect right there for you. Curse the Silent and last word, deadly combo. <sighs> yeah, I don't know what to say now. Actually, I'm going to take a drink of water because I am thirsty. Meantime, Rubik steals double edge, which may actually come back to bite him. Whatever he does do with, you know, with the help of the tower, big chunk of damage to that centaur. Centaur definitely not happy about that. But, you know, what is Centaur to do against Rubik? Really nothing. You know, just soak up the damage and hope for the best. In the meantime, Sand King up here. Where's Sand King? Sand King, wow, he escaped. In the meantime, Marina gets the kill on Timbersaw up here at top. And looks like she's actually out for blood right now. This Crystal Maiden as well is on to... Wow, Crystal Maiden with the beautiful... Well, not even beautiful, half-decent ult. Does do a little bit of damage to Doom, but not a whole lot. Doom gets to kill on Crystal Maiden during all this. And it looks like that Phantom Assassin is going to die here and dies to Priest of the Moon. Priest of the Moon with a big whip, but firing that arrow, making sure that nothing happens to that Phantom Assassin, that she cannot get away. In the meantime, Rubik is going to go ahead and back out here, try and help defend as soon as possible. Obviously, he doesn't want to come around from back, because that would actually guarantee him a death. And Silence are actually doing the best thing and making sure that none of them can cast a spell. And in fact, you know, Huskar couldn't right there because he actually doesn't have any mana to cast his only spell that costs mana. So Huskar really, you know, is hurt big time by, you know, by Silence are only having one spell that costs mana. And his ult, as far as I'm aware, as well as his Burning Spear, do not stop that Curse of the Silent because they cost health not mana. So people have to keep that one in mind too. Whoever the Sand King is going and taking this tower out, or at least doing a ton of damage to it, he's going to go ahead and back out here because he knows that all of them are MIA. Centaur is coming in now to help, and he might be cock well, feel cocky enough to go ahead and you know try and take this tower. That caustic uh, finale you know, will help pushing that lane, but it looks like he's going to go ahead and back out here so it looks like we may have an engagement here. Wow, that, that courier just... Wow. Rubik has double damage, so... We'll have to see how this all plays out. And wow, Rubik has Scorched Earth. That's pretty funny. That does... You know, decent amount of damage, not gonna lie. But Doom, in the meantime, he looks like he's back in the fountain, and I would be right about that. Because he's rapidly gaining health and mana. Looks like right now, the all five on the Radiant are going to go ahead and try and push middle here and take this tower on. We are past that 20 minute mark where the games usually freeze up on me, so hurrah to that, guys. You know, that's an early fortification, mind you, by the Dire. They could have waited another two, three seconds before going ahead and, you know, 
doing the fortification. But Priest of the Moon gets a nice uh, arrow off onto Silencer. But Priest of the Moon is going to go ahead and die here, and she does die to Rubik. And Silencer pops his ult, makes it so nobody can actually cast anything. In the meantime, Silencer gets the kill on Priest, or Silencer gets the kill on Sanking, not Priest of the Moon. And Silent, no, it's Rubik that's actually in the way. Silencer gets a kill on Huskar as well. Marina gets the kill on Rubik, and then gets the kill on Crystal Maiden. And now they are after that Curry here. And Silencer gets the kills on, or gets the kill on Centaur in the middle. And Timbersaw is not too happy about that. Silencer just now getting Glaive of Wisdom. That is wicked late to get that after getting several kills like that. And nice arrow right there by Marina. Getting the kill on Silencer and thus feeding more of her gold. Or feeding her more gold, rather. Wow, I, I can't talk tonight at all. But anyway, yeah, this Priest of the Moon is starting to get a little fed here. Same thing with this Doom. You know, Doom does have the Hand of Midas right now, so that will help. Looks like he might be building towards an Aghanim Scepter. Which is nice. But, yeah, what is... I mean, Centaur, I don't know what he's building towards. Sand King, I have no idea. Priest of the Moon, looks like she might be going for a Malstorm. Or Maelstrom, rather. Huskar has his hood, uh, Helm of the Dominator, maybe going for a Satanic. And Doom, as I said, looks like he might be going for an Aghanim Scepter. Rubik, look, he already has his four step. I don't know what else he's building towards. Phantom Assassin actually doesn't have much right now. She's working towards Cleave. It's pretty late for her to be getting Cleave. She should have had it by now. You know, judging by the time up here, it's, you know, close to 19 and a half minutes. She should have had at least, at least the Broadsword by now, but she hasn't really been getting that many kills. So, good job on the pro or yeah, the Purple Team. The Dire are not feeding, you know, Phantom Assassin that many kills. Meantime, Timbersaw, I don't know what he's working on. Maybe a soul... And the, or I'm sorry, yeah, a soul boot. No, not a soul booster. A bloodstone. There you go. But yeah, Marina gets the kill on Rubik down here, and Marina right now actually getting the kill on Phantom Assassin as well with the help of Sand King and Centaur, and Timbersaw right now trying to actually kill somebody here. Looks like he may be able to actually kill Centaur, and will he be able to? Oh God, that Sand King is so oom. And Centaur gets saved for just a few seconds here. And Crystal Maiden gets the kill on Centaur there with the help, well, with her Crystal Nova. And Sand King trying to do something here. And it looks like he might get away. Oh god, no, he gets killed by an auto attack right there by Crystal Maiden. Yeah, I don't know. That was just a bad spot for the rest of them to be in. What is Silencer working on? He's working on a mechanism. Crystal Maiden, what is she working on? I don't know. I don't know what, you know, costs two bracers. I think she just has that for the health increase. I can't be too sure. But, oh, uh, looks like, uh, well, Priest of the Moon actually getting a Desolator. That's a pretty big deal right there. You know, a Desolator on Priest of the Moon. Yeah, that is huge! And she might get the kill on Rubik here. And very, very short stun right there into Rubik. And Rubik actually doing a decent amount of damage and somehow managing to stun her? Oh, that's because he actually stole her Sacred Arrow. <laughs> Looks like that Priest of the Moon dying right there to Phantom Assassin. And Phantom Assassin should have her cleave. In theory, should have her cleave. You know, thanks to all that gold. But, yeah, let's just look. Priest of the Moon at 1255. Silencer at 765. Doom at 516. Timbersaw at 512. Then he got Pre uh, Phantom Assassin at 555. Rubik at 434. Crystal Man at 498. Huskar at 369. Sand King at 365 and Centaur at 276. So Centaur is definitely doing his job. And yes, there is the Aghanim Scepter going to Doom, so I called that one correctly. And it looks like Centaur right now may actually die here, and Centaur will die. He was just out of position, dies to dies to Silencer right there, and Silencer should have been you know had that Glaives of Wisdom 
much, much, much earlier, he would have been able to have you know, about 12 more intellect by now. At least bare minimum of 12 more. You know, so that's a pretty big deal. Plus, it's nice we got Doom at 66 and 0, then Priest of the Moon at 51 and 4, Phantom Assassin at 47 and 0, Rubik at 44 and 1. Then we have. Looks like uh, Centaur 42 and 1, Timbersaw 39 0, Huskar 35 and 7, Sand King at 32 1, Silencer at 30 and 1, and Crystal Maiden at 20 and 0. So we will just have to see how this all comes into play. And oh my god, that Phantom Assassin is so, so vulnerable, but that Priest of the Moon, aka Marana, does not know about that. And Bloodstone for Timbersaw, I called that one as well. Mind you, I have not seen past this point in this game. So I do not know what the hell these people are going to get. Zero idea. I can only make speculation. There's the mechanism on Silencer. You know, there's certain things you can almost guarantee You know, people are going to get, depending on how good or bad they're doing. Timbersaw getting Bloodstone? Not a shock. Considering how many kills he has and how many assists he has. What does Phantom Assassin have going to her? She has the broadsword, she's getting the battle fury. So there will be her cleave. Again, typical things you know people are gonna get. Centaur looks like he's gonna be getting a hood of defiance and then maybe a pipe of insight. Huskar. Again, I'm saying maybe a satanic. Priests of the Moon, I would not be surprised to see a, well, to see, what is it, see a Manta style, and that centaur right now is happy that, you know, the stun didn't last that long, but he did die to Timbersaw right there, thus fitting Timbersaw with some more Bloodstone stacks, so not good for him, definitely not good. What does Sand King have? I don't know, but Sand King will be dead shortly because... You know, that ult just wore off from Marina. And the whole Radiant team is going to go ahead and push, knowing that there's one less tank now up for the Dyer. Not going to lie. And oh look, Blade of a Clarity. That can mean one of three things. Sage and Yasha, regular Yasha, or Manta style. I'm saying Manta. Meantime, looks like this Phantom Assassin's trying to get onto Sand King here. Looks like she actually jumps onto Huskar, and Huskar and Sand King actually taking some minor damage here and there. Timbersaw trying to do a little damage of his own, but not fully able to commit right here. It actually looks like right now that Rubik will be getting maybe a Bloodstone as well. Maybe? Nice ult damage right there by... Uh, by Timbersaw, but Marina gets the kill on Priest of the, uh, on Phantom Assassin. Doom gets the kill on Crystal Maiden. Doom also gets the kill on Timbersaw. Nice on him. And Marina gets the kill on Rubik during all this. Silencer gets the kill on Doom ending his killing spree. And now we've got Huskar and everybody else attacking Silencer. And Silencer dies to Marina. And Marina now has Yasha coming to her. That is a complete ace. And Sand King. What does he have? I'm going to assume he's saving for a Blink Dagger. Again, speculation on what I know, you know, what I can expect. Just from how many games I've played. You know, this Doom, standard items, working towards an Orc and Malevolent, well, yeah, an Orc and Malevolence. And it looks like they will give, I'm going to say, Marina, they're going to give her the... Aegis of the Legion. Or Aegis of the Immortal, rather. Or sh they will give it to Huskar. Good choice as well. Crystal Maiden, what does she have? She's working towards. I think they still call Lothar's Edge. I actually wish I could, you know, check. It's been a long time they may have changed the name and stuff, but last time I checked it was Lothar's Edge. She's working on visibility pretty much, like a, yeah, invisibility, well, a wind walk. She can pop her ult, wind walk, and not be seen, and hopefully not get CC'd. 
Silencer, what's he working towards? No clue at this point. And let's see, Phantom Assassin, no clue at this point. Rubik, no clue at this point. Doom, he's working towards the Orc and Malevolence because he's already got one Oblivion Staff. And no idea why the pause. I'm just going to go ahead and here speed it up to times four. Oh, yeah. I'm in your dead. There we go. Because, hey, speeding up is always nice, but oh god, it looks like this Sand King's out of position and dies to Crystal Maiden. Meantime, Rena gets the kill on Rubik during all of this, and she's looking to get away, and she does get onto the other side of this tree, and she will pull it away. No, she will not. She will die to everybody down here, and dies to Timmersaw nonetheless. So, not good for her. Timbersaw now is 7314, it looks like. And yes, looks like Crystal er, Marina is at 1667. Then we've got Silencer at six, uh, 977, Doom at 729, Timbersaw at 7314, Phantom Assassin at 568, Crystalman 51012, Rubik at 456. Then we've got Huskar at 3611, Sand King at 379, and. Centaur at 399. Wow. Centaur just being a champ and tanking it for the team. There is that hood of the defiance. Again, probably building towards a pipe of insight. Not a bad item at all for anybody to pick up to help support your team. You think I'm joking? I am not. Bottle with double damage for Rubik or Silencer? Not bad. And, yeah, that centaur was like, yeah, the magic damage doesn't affect me much. So let's, let's look at his magic resist. 47% magic resist. That's nice. But let's see. Phantom Assassin doesn't matter that Ogre Club. I'm going to say, this is, mind you, this is just speculation. Phantom Assassin is going straight for a blacking bar. Which they actually add another you know, level of it where it's, I believe, lasts five seconds and has one less, or, you know, what the duration is shorter as well as the cooldown. You know, instead of it going like from eight to six, it goes from eight to five, I believe. I could be wrong. Judging by that Ogre Club uh, for Timbersaw, I'm going to say. He's going for a blocking bar as well. Doom right now trying to do damage to somebody. Wow, that Huskar going right to Rubik. And nice stun right there by nobody. Crispin gets a nice ult off doing a little damage to everybody, but not a whole lot. In the meantime, Huskar doesn't get the kill on Crystal Man because she doesn't have stealth just yet. Huskar actually in the world of trouble right now. Huskar actually gets the kill on Phantom Assassin as well. We time during all of this that Chris Moon did buy back, and she's on her way there to help her teammates yet again. And Doom trying to get the kill onto Silencer right now. Silencer running away. Chris Moon trapping uh, Centaur in the ultimate by Timbersaw. Timbersaw gets the kill on Centaur during all of this. And it looks like Huskar right now is going to Timbersaw, and Timbersaw trying to get the kill. And Huskar gets the kill on Timbersaw as well. And Huskar now, wow. Huskar with a lot of kills under his belt. And that Miranda just jumps into battle and trying to save her teammates. Looks like, however, this Silencer making it away here, Scott Free. If you're not Scott Free, no, he dies to Huskar. Chris Man gets to kill Miranda, and now Huskar is trying to run away here, but he does have the Aegis, so he will respawn and be able to maybe possibly kill another two people. Zoom in the meantime comes around here, and Zoom is going to be a big, you know, just a big target on his head right now. Allowing Huskar to maybe get another kill here on Crystal Maiden. And Huskar right now is trying to jump and he does get onto Crystal Maiden. Crystal Maiden's gonna die here to Huskar, feeding Huskar even more gold. And wow. If he actually does manage to get it. In the meantime, Priest of the Moon get no Sand King gets the kill on Rubik. And Huskar trying trying desperately to catch up to that Crystal Maiden, but will not happen. Ah. <sighs> Yeah. Meantime, we got Timbersaw already revived thanks to that Bloodstone.
and trying to do some damage to that Huskar and will get the kill on no fan assassin gets the kill on Huskar. And wow. Good for Phantom Assassin. Holy crappers. Oh, I need another drink of water. And yes, I'm saying water, not water. I'm not that redneck. <laughs> Mind you, I love... Phantom Assassin is one of my favorite champions of all time. Right behind Ricky and... Who else was my favorite champion? Zeus. Oh god, I love Zeus. There's something so satisfying about being at your fountain, you know, at your fountain, ulting, refresher orbing, ulting again, and getting a quadric, you know, getting, you know, four kills back to back to back to back. Doing that like five times in a row, wiping an entire team out, and just be like, yeah, that's what's up. Because you do it when they're low on health to see exactly how low, and then you ult again if you, you know, know for a fact you'll get another kill or two. But in the meantime, it looks like Huskar right now, or no, the Huskar, Santa's ulting away to try and get away here. Santa gets the kill on Sand King, and Timbersaw is trying to get the kill on to Santa right here, and he will manage to do so. Meantime, this Huskar now has a blacking bar, and I don't know what he's going to work towards next. But Huskar could have jumped onto somebody, but it looks like he opted not to. And Priest of the Moon trying to get into a good position to actually do damage to somebody. Meantime, Huskar jumps right onto that Rubik, and Rubik right now may actually die to Huskar. And he died. You no, know, Rubik gets killed by Marina during all this. Salter is trying to get away from everybody, and Salter may actually die to Huskar here. Somebody's gonna die to somebody. Phantom Assassin gets the kill on Marina during all this. Salter turns around, tries to get a kill, so he actually gets the kill on Huskar. And Doom focusing right onto that silencer. Silencer gonna die there to Phantom Assassin. Phantom Assassin denying after getting the kill on Doom. Very good play. Silencer getting lucky that his teammate went ahead and denied him instead of letting him die to Doom's ult. Just saying. And yeah, we can expect a blocking bar from Phantom Assassin. I, again, don't know what Sand King is going to get. Centaur, again, wouldn't be surprised to see a pipe of insight on him. Doom, what's he got? Nothing just yet. He still has the same items he's had before. You saw Huskar now has Blacking Bar. Marina is probably working towards a... You know, working towards... Again, I'm going to say Manta style. Crystal Maiden... Work has a shadow amulet working towards, I guess, Shadow's Edge is what it's called now. Uh, Silencer, nothing really changed for him. Timbersaw, nothing has changed for him. He's working towards the Blacking Bar as well. Phantom Assassin, we see, has the Blacking Bar you know, already. And Silencer, or Rubik rather, four staff, and really that's it. And, yeah, really not much else to say right now. <sighs> there's the blacking bar for, you know, for, what's his name? And there's the shadow blade for Crystal Maiden. So, yeah, they did change it to shadow blade instead of Lothar's Edge. I believe they can't use Lothar anymore because, like, it clashes with... The original Dota or something like that or it's in Smite and don't worry about that little sound that's my AC cuz it's balls hot in Florida I don't know if you guys know that but you know it's at the time of recording this it is let me see it is 1 a.m. and it feels like 90 degrees outside I kid you not so imagine inside Without my AC on, with no fan. You're gonna have a bad time. Guarantee you that. Pre there's the Phantom Assassin blacking bar. You know, again, some of these things you can already call gonna happen. There's the ultimate orb for Marina working towards that Manta style. 
that I called, you know, 12 minutes ago. Here's, you know, Phantom Assassin, I would say working towards some sort of lifesteal now. And Rubik, as I, as I'm expecting, working towards a bloodstone, there's the blank for Sand King. Again, you get used to all these items being on some of these champions, you know exactly what people are going to get regardless. You know, after playing Dota for 10 plus years, you kind of know what to expect from generally most players. You know, and wow, this this Huskar is way out of position. Perfect does pop his blacking bar, and he will be saving, well, surviving through most of this magic damage. Phantom Assassin doesn't do magic damage, so she actually got the kill on Huskar right there. Sounds her ults right there, and that's gonna be a dead Centaur Warrunner if he's not careful. He actually will survive through all of that. Meantime, Doom trying to, you know, not die here. Marina, meantime, gets the kill on. To Rubik here, Marina actually getting the kill on Chrismine as well. Very good play by her. Looks like he, she gets the kill on Phantom Assassin as well. May actually get the kill on Timbersaw as well. Looks like she may be able to. And she gets the kill on to Timbersaw. So, pretty much a full team wipe except for Silencer done by Marina. Yeah, fed much. Again, the Manta style's there. And ooh, yeah, only one person dead though for the uh, Dire, so not a bad fight, not a bad fight at all. Let's look at the, you know, kills, deaths, and assists. Marin is at 21, 8, 11. Silencer is at 11, 9, 12. Timbersaw is at 9, 5, 20. Then we got Phantom Assassin at 9, 8, 11. Doom at 7, 4, 15. Huskar at 7-9-13. Crystal Maiden at 7-12-19. We've got Sand King at 4-8-12. Rubik at 4-8-9. And Centaur at 4-2-11-14. Assists all around. We have had 80 kill or 82 kills total this entire game. Last it's denies doesn't really matter at this point because we're almost beyond that point of farming. And yeah, that's Marina. Will if oh, and actually, never mind, never mind. She's got sound or er, centaur there to tank for her, so she should should in theory be fine. And there's the refresher. Actually, wow, I actually got a call wrong. Refresher for Doom. I would not expect that. Cause why would you ult refresh ult? That. To me doesn't make sense and wow just nice try though by marina trying to get somebody stunned with that uh with that sacred arrow she'll send one of her illusions out to see exactly where they're at pretty standard stuff given her illusions cannot last time i remember at least cannot attack roshan and roshan's knight not like dragon or baron in league he doesn't instantly regen all of his health but looks like now this priest of the or Marina is trying to, you know, double dip here. Looks like right now we got a whole lot of nothing going on. Marina deck, uh, gets the kill on Rubik actually. Marina actually gets the kill on Silencer as well. Timbersaw trying to run away here and they're already testing up a GG. Well played. Phantom Assassin gets the kill on, Tim, on uh, Centaur right here. And it looks like Doom gets the kill on Crystal. I mean, Doom might also get the kill on Phantom Assassin here. It might be either Marina or Doom that gets it. And looks like it's gonna be nobody. That Sand King trying to run away here though. He does get ulted by Timbersaw. Timbersaw is gonna run away here now. And Timbersaw dies to Doom. Phantom Assassin in the meantime gets a skill on Sand King. And that that Priest of the Moon just out for blood right now. And doing nice arrow right there by Phantom Assa or by Priest of the Moon. Getting that right on to Phantom Assassin. And that's going to be GG. Because, well, what else is there to do when you've got a fed Marina? When you have a Huskar that does a lot of damage? Doom that has a refresher. Okay. Oh, 550. Yeah, increased damage and duration. 
Duration does not count down if an enemy is within 550 range of Doom. That is pretty hilarious. You know, give you, give you guys an idea, that is further than a Huskar can attack. 550 is... 550 is a little shorter than how far Marina can attack. So, yeah. They have a long... I mean, long way to travel. These creeps, I think, attack at 550. So it's pretty far distance. You know, in the meantime... They're trying to stop, you know, the Radiant's trying to stop everything going on right now. They want to get the kill on Marina, they want to get the kill on Doom, and they want to get it on Huskar. The problem is- oh, I'm sorry, it actually goes down to 4 now. It was on 5 for Blacking Bar, so I knew that they decreased the duration and decreased the cooldown, but I thought it was to 5, not to 4. I was a little wrong. But it looks like this Marina may get the kill onto Roshan. She does, and she picks up the Aegis as well. Looks like she's working on a Daedalus. And who are they chasing down here at bottom? And it is, wow, Huskar dies to Timbersaw. That four staff for Timber, or onto Timbersaw is nice. Not even gonna lie, the Whirling Death, you know, four staff Whirling Death combo as well as the Timber Chain. That is sick! And the Daedalus almost there for, uh, priest, well, for Marina, and she now has a Daedalus. So to recap, she has attack speed, she has crit, she has illusions, and she reduces her enemy's armor by seven. So on somebody like, say, Phantom Assassin, that's not a big deal, but on, say, somebody like Rubik, that actually makes him take almost pure damage. Pure damage is not negated by anything. And yeah, there is such thing as pure damage, I believe. Uh, yeah. The Glaives do pure damage, I believe. Let me actually see. Uh, no. Yeah, damage is pure. So yeah, it does pure damage. Same thing with uh, Phantom Assassin's Stifling Dagger. That does pure damage, but it's not a whole lot of pure damage. It's only a hundred to champions, and lull them wasting mana on an illusion. That is pretty funny. And yeah, nice arrow right there, however, onto Rubik. That's gonna set something up here. Centaur pops Zola helps Marina gets the kill on Rubik right here. Chris Man with an ult coming in here, but Satsuma and Shambi. Actually, Chris Man gets the kill on Doom, Silencer gets killed by Marina during all this. Meantime, Phantas Passing gets the kill on Huskar, and we got Huskar buying back into the game. And uh, an offensive GG coming out here. Phantas Passing getting the kill on Sankin during all of this. And that, that Marina is trying to run away here, and she will be able to, however, for a short duration. Doom buying back and making sure that nobody gets the kill on uh, Marina down here. Marina gets the kill on Phantom Assassin, however, with the help of Doom and Huskar. I believe they both popped their ultimates to make that happen. However, Doom does have a refresher, so he does ult onto Timbersaw here. And Timbersaw will eventually die here to either Doom's ult onto or Silent or Huskar's burning spear rather. Looks like it's gonna be Doom's ult that gets him. And Crystal Maiden just barely gets away. The offensive GG, you know, proving to be a stupid idea. That's why you never offensively GG. Unless you're, you know, if you're already attacking this, you know, the Dyer's Ancient or the Radiant's Ancient, you do not offensively GG. It is a stupid idea. Hmm. What? Oh, uh, looks like Centaur is gonna be getting the Thorn Mail or Blade Mail, rather. Let's see, Sand King. He's working on. I'm going to say Blacking Bar. Marina. I have no idea. She's probably gonna get rid of that bottle in favor of something else. Huskar. No clue. Again, might be working on a Satanic. 
And wow, that's Marina trying to go in on Rubik here. And Rubik just proving to be. Oh my god! Marina's two star Rubik! Did you guys see that? And she may actually do the same thing here to Silencer. And oh, oh, Marina getting away here. Looks like in one, two, three, four shots onto Silencer here. And wow! This Marina pro no, proving to be a big nuisance. Huskar jumping in here, trying to get the kill on Phantom Assassin, helping Marina actually on the Phantom Assassin. Phantom Assassin getting the kill on Marina may actually get the kill on Huskar as well. But let's see, Crystal Man does pop her ultra and all this, and Huskar gets killed, but by the creeps. Let's go ahead and you know rewind this. What was that about? About here. No, a little further, little further. Okay, we are going to slow it down to a quarter speed and play this. So, right over here is Marina, okay? Right here is her arrow, right there is her sacred arrow, and she hits dead on to silence her. She pops her ult. And let's just see, one, two, all right, there's Marina getting, you know, getting her sacred arrow stolen by Rubik as he has her up in the air with telekinesis. All right, now Rubik's still attacking uh, Marina, so let's see, she's about to get out of stun, one shot for 1200 damage, two shots. 500 damage with the crit that is bananas and we know what happens from there because I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up because we saw the rest of this because hey you know she gets the kill on silencer and just wow two shotting just overall two shotting Rubik wow and Huskar not dying to champions that's pretty funny you gotta admit, they worked hard to kill Huskar, and the creeps come in and steal it. Ha! Just ha! You know, if I were Huskar, I'd be like, oh yeah, they didn't get too fed. Doom might be working, don't quote me on this, but might be working on an Assault Curious. This center now has a blade mail. Sand King. Again, I'm assuming working on a Black King bar. No idea what Marina's working towards. Looks like she sold. What the. Oh, she had an Aegis. Okay, okay. So she still has a free spot left in her inventory. Doom? Don't know. Rubik? Don't know. Phantom Assassin? Ulted by Doom. And looks like she may actually die here. Marina does buy back into the game and Doom gets killed on Phantom Assassin. Doom actually does have another ult available. He did refresh her orb. So he should be able to get another ult off onto somebody here. If he can get in range of this timber saw, that'd be lovely. And Sand King right now. <laughs> wow, totally missing that burrow strike. And Marina getting the kill onto Timber Saw there with the help of her teammates. Granted, Doom did go ahead and ult onto Timber Saw. I guess hoping he wouldn't, you know, timber chain away. This center, again, no clue what he's getting. Crystal Maiden, I think she might be working towards Nagonim Scepter. No, she's getting a Black King Bar. Very good move by her. Silencer, no idea. Timber Saw, no idea. Got Rubik, no idea. And Phantom Assassin, again, might be working towards a Satanic now. You know, she needed lifesteal, so she got lifesteal. All these things you will know somebody will get regardless. And wow, that tower is dying rapidly. And yep, Assault Curious onto Doom and Blacking Bar onto Crystal Maiden. So Crystal Maiden's a little beefy now. She has a lot of health. Well, decent amount of health, rather. You know, she has more than Silencer, give her that. And she has more than Rubik. She, I think, has a little more health. No, she has a little less health than Phantom Assassin. 
And she has less health than Timbersaw. Which that's also another thing you gotta keep in mind. There's like four strength on the dire side where there's none on the radiant. So yeah, even though Doom casts a lot of spells, he's still strength hero. And he is pretty tanky due to that. Same thing with Huskar. Well, Huskar just, you know, he's Huskar, plain and simple. Marina, what does she have now? Still nothing. Don't know what she's working towards. Huskar, what's he getting? Looks like he's working on Talisman Evasion. He's working towards a butterfly? Or the hell? I guess the evasion's pretty good for him. Although that might be for Marina. Let's see. Uh, no. No, it was for him. So he might be working on a butterfly. Bold choice. Again, sorry I'm going quiet. It's just, I'm doing a lot of talking without my AC on. I'm hot as hell. You guys can only imagine how it feels to be in Florida without your AC or fan on and be talking as much as I am. What is this Marina getting though? Like that is one thing I do not understand. What is she working on now? Same thing with Centaur. What is he working on now? He doesn't have many strength items. However, it looks like Doom does go ahead and pop his ult here onto Rubik. And Doom gets- no, I'm sorry, he pops on Silencer and Silencer gets killed by Doom. Phantom Assassin gets the kill on to uh, Sand King during all this, however. Marina gets to kill on Rubik and Huskar gets to kill on Crystal Maiden. Looks like Huskar right now jumping on to Phantom Assassin and Phantom Assassin will die here to Doom. That- that Timbersaw's gonna go ahead and die here and Timbersaw dies to Huskar. And now the defensive GG comes in yet again. Second defensive GG. Wow. That tower just got slaughtered. Plain and simple, barracks slaughtered. You know, plain and simple, slaughtered the barracks. Second defensive GG. You know, they know they lost. So... Yeah, and actually Teal's right, they had better late game champions. I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this up here. You know, cause we don't need... Once we, uh... You know, we don't need to see all this, you know, complaining, stuff like that, all the banter. Once the game is officially over and we're at the score screen, we'll go through everything cause why not? You'll look at what everybody had, all that stuff. And over 100 kills this game, mind you. Huskar actually has a Heaven Talbert. So not bad for him. You know, definitely not bad for him. This Marina got a MKB now in the works. So nice for her. Heaven Talbert for Doom as well. Pretty good items. Give them that evasion they want. Doom actually has to drop an item. He'll probably uh, drop his stout shield, because why not? Meantime, Marina gets the kill on. Uh, wow, onto. Crystal Man gets the kill on Marina. What? There's a Heart of Taros gone to Centaur. Finally, he gets a strength item. And he has a lot of health. And you know, to see exactly what happened there, we're going to go ahead and backpedal it a little bit. Just a little more to where she got the kill. And we will go ahead and slow it down here to just half speed. So here's Marina. Here is Crystal Maiden. And let's see, Crystal Maiden sees what's going on here. Pops her frostbite onto, you know, onto Marina. Pops her ult onto Marina as well, and her ult does a massive amount of damage, you know. And Crystal Maiden gets the kill 
with her ult and then Crystal Nova. So nice play by her. You know, very nice play by her. And yeah. Let's just go ahead and finish this up, because why not? And there we go. Okay, no idea what's going on here. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this, because apparently my exploit's bugging out. Sorry, you guys gotta see this. Yeah, I... I do not want to be broadcasting right about now. There we go. Okay, no idea what the hell happened, but there we go. Hopefully it wasn't that laggy. Just cause, yeah. You guys heard a lot of spam, stuff like that. But yeah, I accidentally hit the wrong button. But anyway, let's go ahead and see this now. So we've got Crystal Maiden at 9.14.26 has Tranquil Boots, Bracers, Blacking Bar, and a Shadow Blade. Then we have Silencer who's got four Staff, and that is really it, other than a Mechanism. Mind you, Crystal Maiden was 61 and 0 for last hits and eyes. Silencer's at 11.14.14 with 96 last hits, one deny. Then we have. Timbersaw, who is 10 9 28. Bloodstone, Perseverance, Blacking Bar, and Arcane Boots. 94 and 0 for last it's denies. Phantom Assassin, who is 15 13 12. Well, goes down in increments of 2. <laughs> Pretty funny. Anyway, Phase Boots, Blacking Bar, Battle Fury, and Helm of the Dominator. 146 last hits, 0 denies. Rubik, who is 4.13.11, had his soul, yeah, soul booster, and had a four staff. That's really it. 86 last hits, one deny. Doom, who had 15, or rather who was 15.5.23, has phase boots, Hannah Midas, Refresher, Hel uh, Heaven's Hellbird, as well as an Aghanim Scepter and a Assault Karis, 182 last hits, 0 denies. Huskar, who is 9-12-22, Heaven's Hellbird, Black King Bar, Tranquil Boot, Helm of the Dominator. Marina, 31-10-17, has a Monkey King Bar, Black King Bar, a Desolator, Daedalus, and Manta Style, and Boots. 171 last hits, 9 denies. Sand King, who is 4 11 18. Blink and Drum of Endurance. It's really about it. 65 last hits, 1 deny. Centaur, who is 2 12 23. Tranquil Boot, Blade Mail, Hood of Defiance, and Had Heart of Tarask. Not bad, not bad. 114 last hits, 2 denies. Overall, Dyer did have a better late game team between, you know, Centaur, Huskar, Marina, and Doom. Sand King, he wasn't really, you know, vital. But he did help soak up a lot of damage, so he did play that role. Versus just the, you know, two late game on the Dyer side of Phantom Assassin and... Silencer? Question mark? You know, that's the only two I can think of, but yeah, they had a better... You know, Dyer had a better late game. But, yeah, that is it, guys. Again, sorry for the delay on videos, all of that fun jazz. I've been busy, and I will hopefully be been, uh, cranking out more videos in the future. At least, bare minimum, three a week. I expect to get that many out. Might be Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. You know, obviously this week it's not going to be that, but... You know, from here on out, it will most likely be a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. And then if I get more replays, stuff like that, I'll do more, upload more. But for right now, it'll just be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, one video a day on those days. Rage videos will be whenever. And if you want me to go ahead and cast a replay, send them to sgamingtech at gmail.com. The email is in the description below. I'm taking in 
Dota 2 and StarCraft 2 replays. League, you know, replays are broken again because it's one guy doing it. And yeah, cut him some slack. A new patch just came out. Anyway, that is it, guys. My name has been Shadowswom, and I will talk to you all next time.